Nobody. There's nobody. Nobody. There's nobody like you. Nobody. There's nobody. Oh, yeah, nobody. There's nobody like you. We unajua kuwa mka kwangu. Tena unajua na kulala kwangu. Hewe ndi wenguzo ya maisha yangu. Dadio. Nilipo unakiza kwenye maisha yangu. Ukaleta nuru kwenye ndoto zangu. Asa nimejua siko peke yangu. You are a hero. By your word, oh my Lord, you keep motivating my life. I understand you a lot. Baba, you elevating my life. Kwa msalaba, mambo ikawashwari umetubeba. Wako wakuna ngeri, asante baba, umetupafahari. Oh, baba. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Peter Rankin. And of course, today we are out here with a musician by the name Atatoambia. And we are here to see ile mashida amekuwa kipitia Mombasa na katika ile juhudi yake ya kutengeneza ngoma uh, ni kipi kimekuwa kimotivate anauzaje kufanya mauzo ya ngoma zake alafu kwa nini aka choose gospel na haku choose secular kuna watu wanasema ni secular do inauza kuliko gospel lakini unavyomuona hapa ni mtu amejisimamisha vizuri na gospel hebu tusikie kutoka kwake ha uh, so jina yako ni okay kwa majina ya tuwa falme classic i'm a gospel artist I'm a preacher and I'm a man of God. Yeah. So tukianzi hapo kwa songs kuna secular na gospel. Kwa nini ukachoose wewe ni ni gospel na nakuona uko uko jama barbaro ugege secular tape pengine uvute wasichana wengi viwas wengi. Kwa nini gospel? Okay, uh, mimi I'm uh, born again. Ni mtu ambaye nimemjua Mungu na it's my passion kumtumikia Mungu tu. Nimeona tu ni kitu ambacho is built in my heart just I have to sing for the Lord na ni tumia talanta yangu kumwabudu yeye na ku preach. Thank you. Kuna watu wengi wanachoose kwenda kwa gospel si kabisa juu ya kuchoose kumtumikia lakini ako na testimony. Pengine kuna mtu mwenye hako ikuwa na kare ya kusoma maisha yake yote shuleni lakini ufalme wa Mungu ukakuja akapata kusoma, akapona, wa familia yao ikatoka kwa umaskini, diposa akaenda kufanya gospel. Je, wewe isipokuwa kumtumikia ngu Mungu, do you have a testimony like is this thing that made missing for God? Okay, mimi personally I was born a Christian. So nimekuwa na hiyo passion, nime grow in the church. Nimekuwa na hiyo passion since I was singing choir, ni wenye nilikuwa nikising Sunday school. Nimekuwa na hiyo passion tu nikiangalia kina Emachi chi, nikiangalia wale wasanii wa zamani, wembaje kina Angela Kibalonza, nikasema one day I want to sing for the Lord. I want to work in this ministry. So nikajikuta tu nimekuwa uh, kijana na nimejua kuimba nimejua kuandika wimbo nimejua kumtukuza Mungu then i found myself in that passion of sing for the lord na nini wimbo wako wa kwanza uliutoa mwaka mgani mimi nimeanza songs kitambo since 2013 2013 nilianza kuandika but the first time i went to studio ilikuwa 2014 yeah nilimba wimbo mwingine fulani hapo haukufanya vizuri sana <coughs> but hiyo time haikuwa secular ndakuwa ni ile roho ya ujana ilikuwa imeniingia ndani so i had to nikaingia kule kidogo nikaimba song mbili tatu nikaona this is not my side mimi i vote nili hapa kuomba nitamwabudu Mungu nitamwimbia Mungu so nikajikuta tu nime change kuna roho ikaingia ndani yangu kanigeuza mpaka leo sijisikii kuimba huko though i have talent i can sing those songs very well i have sababu yangu ni talent but niko na wito wa kumtukuza Mungu na kumwimbia Mungu yeah sasa ikifika ni hapo kwa Kweda Studio yeah. unakuta kuna wasanii wengi wana release audio mingi yeah. alafu wanaenda nafanya video baadaye. Yeah. Je, wewe did you shoot a video with the first song ama kwanza ulikuwa na release audios? Okay, that first time nilikuwa By the way, that those time hiyo nikifanya secular. I released one video. Though haikufanya vizuri. Nilipata video poa hata siku yaka kwa YouTube but nilifanya video. And then kuna kitu ndani yangu ilinisuta nikasema hey, you are not nani wafalme you are not this wewe si mtu wa huku you have to sing for the lord na nilikuwa naimba vizuri church watu walikuwa wananipenda church wanajua nikishika mic nikiimba church watu wanabarikiwa so hata my pastor akaniita akaniambia bro you are not this side si wa huku so sikutoa hiyo video but nikaanza ku, kuingia gospel nikaanza kutoa unajua paka ujaribu kutoa audio nikatoa audio nikatoa audio kama mbili tatu then I, since the, that time nimekuwa tu nikitoa videos back to back videos back to back mimi nafanya song 
na ndo studio nafanya song audio nafanya video na release au hiyo ni sawa alafu huu mji wa Mombasa ni mji wa waswahili na sana sana wengi ni waislamu na hasa katika hizi mambo ya media mambo ya art mambo ya music ni mambo yenye ina depend na mauzo mauzo kwa live stream na kwa youtube hasa Mombasa na jo marafiki wangu wako wengine ni waislamu je unawezaje kufanya mauzo ya gospel kwa mji wenye watu wengi majority ya watu kubwa ni waislamu Okay si wenyewe tunasema Jesus was called hakuitwa sababu ya watu ambao wame wameokoka tayari ameitoka wale ambao hawamjui Mungu ambao wamjui wanamjua Mungu but in, the, in, a, in a different religion so marketing gospel in this time ni, ni, ni ngumu kweli but unajua si sawa sana ku win one soul win one soul mali kwenye watu wanamjua Mungu tayari si sawa sana ku win one soul kwa watu ambao wamjui Mungu unaona hata mbinguni watu wanafurahia kwamba This person ame hustle mali kuomba kuna ugumu wa watu kujua kumjua Yesu kama mkombozi wao. Unaona? There is that hiyo prize. Mimi wana sinapenda hiyo prize. Prize katika gospel nini ministry ya industry ya gospel katika the coast region. Kuna ile kuwa mimi nimefanya watu ambao ni waislamu ama watu ambao wanamjua Mungu in a different perspective. Unaona? Wamemjua kuwa wamekubali wame kwamba Yesu ni mkombozi wa maisha yao naona that one hiyo ni kitu ambao hata licha kuna ugumu ndio kuna ugumu kweli sababu watu wengi wanajua coast um, ama in, in, in Mombasa Mombasa county many of the, most of them ni, ni watu ni muslims unaona but uki uki fight uangalie mtu paka akubali muislamu akubali kwamba Yesu ni mkombozi wa maisha yetu hiyo ni kitu Mungu ame yani ni kitu watu wanafurahisha the kingdom of god asa okay, asante sana na sasa hivi nikaza kuambia utu bibi a chorus of your favorite song yenye ulipoito ama ukiiba ama ukiibia watu inawaguza sana okay my favorite song inaitwa ni Mungu tu ni Mungu tu maisha nayo ishi ni Mungu tu ni Mungu tu si kwa ujanja wangu ni Mungu tu ni Mungu tu that is the my best song wana pena sana mimi wanapenda kukumbusha watu kwamba hiyo maisha unayoishi that is hiyo si maisha tu umeona hiyo si haki yako ni god tu anakupatia kwa neema yako kama unaona ukiamka asubuhi unaenda job unaamka asubuhi unakula chakula unapata kila kitu that hiyo ni god tu ambaye ameprovide maana ni watu watu wangapi sasa hii ambao wamekufa wamelala wameamka maiti watu wangapi sasa wanahangaika wana chakula but tukiona umepoa hizo vitu nilikuwa nataka kwa hiyo song nakumbusha watu kwamba ni god tu ambaye anakupatia hiyo kitu usivimbe kichwa sawa asanti alafu uh, kuna venye naonaga nini mingi ma, makanisa mengi Uh, kama unashiriki kwa kanisa kama ni priest chapo yeah. ama catholic yeah. kuna siku kuna time wanakuita unaenda una present song yako unabariki watu je kuna kanisa zimekuwa kama kukuwa na hafla tu ile ya kikanisa uh, hafla tu ya waka, nini wanyo wanashiriki wa kanisa wanakuita umekuwa na hizo spaces za people can call you to perform church can call you after service to perform okay okay mimi wanafanya hiyo sana i do those things sana those kuna nakumbuka nimekuambia ama preacher so those that's hiyo mwito niko nayo so watu wananiita kuna churches kama Oasis of Joy Malindi nimefanya kuna songs zingi AIC Malindi nimefanya maana sana sana anafanya huduma yangu Malindi kule so nimefanya hizo vitu sana huko na ni watu wamebarikiwa they support me they love me my support by the way my my first song that the best my best song ama songs zangu zote in general zime hit sana the, those side of Malindi, Kilifi, Nairobi. The coast known as me is the whole whole country but nimeanza my home support. My home support is Malindi. Malindi and, and the whole Kilifi county. Wamenipenda sana, wanani support. They call me to their churches. I preach, I sing. Wanapenda sana hiyo kitu. Okay, asante. Alafu ukikuja hapo kwa uh, tumesema muziki sana sana ni mauzo yeah. wale watu unarenga yeah. je wanafikiwa sana sana kuna wasanii wengi wanasema muziki pale Nairobi unasonga yeah. mambo ya art mambo ya hizo social media inasonga sana Nairobi yeah. unakuta wasanii wengine waki wakihita hapa Mombasa yeah. wanatorokia kule Nairobi je msimamo wako ni mgani ile siku utakuja kuwa yani sasa hii wewe ni msani yeah. ni msani uko sawa yeah. Lakini ile time itakuja uko msani unavuma zaidi. Je, yeah. uko na hiyo dot ya kutoka Mombasa ama utakuza mji wako? Okay, my dream is to be a world world artist. Nataka ni kuwe msanii wa kimataifa, ulimwengu mzima wamjue Mungu kupitia mimi. 
that is my dream hiyo napenda nataka hiyo kitu so kutoka Mombasa kwenda Nairobi mimi hiyo hata si ndoto yangu mimi nataka ndoto yangu watu wote ulimwengu mzima kupitia nyimbo zangu ama kupitia huduma yangu wa mjue Mungu i want that thing hiyo ni kitu wanafunga nikiomba nikimwomba Mungu nimwambia Mungu mimi nataka unitumie watu wa mjue Mungu katika uimbaji wangu watu wapate ukombozi katika uimbaji wangu watu wawe wana they they yaani wamjue Yesu kama mkombozi na nyimbo zangu zikuwe na nguvu za Mungu unaona most artists wanaimba ku entertain but mimi kivyangu i don't sing to entertain hata ukisikiza songs zangu i don't sing to entertain i sing to deliver a message a powerful message na wimbo mbao unaweza kugeuza maisha ya mtu unaona so mimi in that perspective i see myself in the next in some few months or days or in, Mungu anajua uh -huh. i see myself as an international artist nikimwambia Mungu katika mataifa hiyo ndo ni ndo my dream yangu amen sasa kuna swali moja utanisamehe nikuulize tumeona wasanii wengi kama bahati yeah. bahati wakati alisonga ama we report yeah. kuna siku ilifika wakaanza kufanya goma ya mapenzi kidogo yeah. alafu time time tu akaanza kufanya secular yeah. je wewe kuna siku moja ndoto yako utaivuja kuingia secular ama ama yani ni yako ni aisaini gani boundary are like a gospel artist kianza ujulikane alafu ige secular ama we ni gospel mpaka mwisho unajua kuna goals za msanii unajua kama wewe ni mwimbaji na una goals za unataka umeingia katika gospel industry just to get money unajua kuna wale wana passion ya kumwimbia Mungu na kuna wale mtu anaenda studio akaimba ili apate pesa na mimi tuma, kwa, kwa upande wangu i have a different nani design life mimi design yangu ni kumtukuza Mungu kumwimbea Mungu hiyo ndio imefanya katika yeye katika kuimba mapenzi mimi nimetoka huko na nimeona hiyo ni ubatili mtupa haina hakuna kitu ambacho napata kando na kuenda kucheza cheza na na madem na ku na ule uselebu wa kuwa ni msanii hakuna kitu yote inasaidia katika community yeah so mimi wana nasema siwezi kwa siwezi kwa nini kwa judge vibaya ni waamuzi wao but what what you want nafikiria nikiwaona nafikiria kwamba maybe these people were not here to preach the gospel they just they were here for their own benefits ili watafute pesa labda sababu kama ingekuwa ni kumtumikia Mungu na iko ndani ya moyo umepewa huduma hawangetoka nje kuimba nyimbo za mapenzi huko unaona ama kuimba nyimbo hata mimi wanasemaje kuimba nyimbo za mapenzi si makosa si dhambi sababu ni kutuku hiyo na unaimba uki it's just love songs the the scene in those love songs is that utakuta sometimes they do vitu ambavyo you see they in moral things vitu ambavyo si katika community ni vitu vinapotosha katika community unaona fanya vitu kama hizo wanawake wanakaa uchi wanawake wanatembea uchi yani vitu kama vitu ambavyo zinaleta message nyingine tofauti katika community hizo ndo nakemea unaona but hakuna ubaya hao kuimba hizo songs kama kama yeye mwenyewe ameona ile biashara yenye alikuwa anafuata kwa gospel amekosa ameenda huko wacha apige huko but for me myself i i don't think that i can go outside again to do those things i know gospel inanitosha na nimefika na hapa ndo naona life yangu inaweza kuwa inaweza kuwa inaweza kuwa comfortable nikifanya hii kitu okay ni sawa alafu tukimalizia huu ni mwezi wa mapenzi je yeah. uh, sita kuuliza msimamo wako ni mgani kwa mapenzi nitakuuliza ujumbe wako ni mgani haswa kuna mafans wenye wanasikiza goma zako yeah. pengine wameoa wataolewa na panga harusi wanatamani kama sisi kuingia hapo siku moja yeah. nini yako ujumbe wako ni mgani kwa kila mtu be it married or not married or sigor taken okay ungeniuliza swali myself I'm married and I love my family I love my wife and my two kids I'm very my wife anaitwa Dhabu is a very beautiful lady na mpenda sana anaweza kuambia happy valentines my love i love you so much na wale wote ambao wanatazama naona mpenzi wako in this valentines just, just spread love si lazima kwa mpenzi peke yake you can spread love to the people around you hata kama ni mabeshte una spread love valentines not means for that does love unajua watu wame wame base valentines kwa mapenzi na wengine wamechukua valentines ni, ni kuenda katika kufanya ngono ama ku kwa mwanamke peke yake labda wengine wana fanya hiyo valentines eh, valentines lazima niende mahali nikajivinjare na na mpenzi ama ngono valentines just showing love 
showing love. So show love kama kuna mtu katika community, kuna mayatima, spend your valentines, go to there. I love you. Though wajua wani mayatima wamekosa mapenzi ya wazazi. So kenda wanyesha love pale. Pia you are doing uh, unafanya pia that is, is a special way to celebrate your valentines. Unaona? So mingi wapa ni muambia tu valentines ni kitu poa know how to celebrate it. Valentines is kuingiza katika dhambi. Unaona? Kuna wengine wataenda kufanya uzinifu ama usherati katika valentines. So is kuingiza katika zina ama uzinifu sababu hiyo ni dhambi. Unaona mahali unasherekea nini kumbe unajiingiza katika dhambi. Tumia valentines yako vizuri. Just go show love to people not only your love or um, your wife ama your fiance show love to people kama mayatima wale watu wajane wale watu ambao unaona hao wanahitaji mapenzi ukawaonyeshe alafu ni kuuliza swali ya mwisho wewe umeoa uko na experience so utaniambia in three words valentine lazima ukue na maua na presents mimi sioni lazima valentine is all It's mainly about love. The love you show. Unajua hata kila siku nafaa kwa Valentine. Si siku hii unaonyesha, siku kila siku mnuli mpenzi wako maua, alafu leo unasema nataka kumlia mpenzi maua. Unaona sio ni that is fake. That is fake. So Valentines have to be celebrated every day in your marriage if you are married. You celebrate kila siku katika unani yako. Si wale mawaifu wenye wanangoja maua kwa nyumba husband ambia husband alete unga kwa nyumba msherekee mkule na watoto sawa sawa si vitu za si kitu wa maana sawa kama kuletei maua kila siku amekuletea maua that is fake mnajua hii mambo ya art without support hakuna hata niko na kitu mzuri without support haina maana so acha pia ni hado zake na please tumsupport nitapin link yake kwa my youtube channel so you guys you can support him okay mimi ningependa tu kuambia all the viewers katika hii tv katika hii channel just support me at Wafalme Classic pale YouTube support me Facebook at Wafalme Classic TikTok Wafalme Classic everywhere is Wafalme Classic support there mimi nahitaji tu ni support mimi nimesikia tu juzi watu wakiambiwa gospel imeisha but i'm you you never know maybe i'm the savior i'm the sent to ni the new person sent to save the the gospel sababu i believe i have something a very big thing that inaweza kuregisha gospel katika the whole country and the whole world.